A year ago, I made a mistake that turned my white Gravitrax tiles yellow. We built the longest Gravitrax marble run ever in the sun. Just a few hours exposure to direct sunlight revealed that Ravensburger did not include UV stabilizers in their plastic formulation for Gravitrax pieces. That's probably why, over the past year, they added this warning to Gravitrax user manuals. Keep Gravitrax away from sunlight. So what do you do with Gravitrax tiles that have turned yellow? Keep building ugly marble runs with them? Throw them out? Recycle them? There is another option. Rewhiten your Gravitrax tiles. The method I'm going to show you is not 100% effective, but will restore about 90% of the original white color to your tiles. The rewhitening process is inexpensive, can be done at home, and uses only a mild household chemical that is safe if you follow basic precautions. But we need to understand, we can't whiten our tiles by washing them. It was a chemical reaction that turned the tiles yellow in the first place, so it's going to take a chemical reaction to turn them white again. The rewhitening procedure is not for children. Kids, don't try this without your parents. We're using a chemical that is harmful if swallowed, and you don't want to accidentally get it in your eyes. No, we're not talking about chlorine bleach. Don't try it. We're talking about hydrogen peroxide and a plastic whitening process known as Retrobrite. Now, there are several methods online to retrobrite plastics. I found some of them don't work with Gravitrax and will ruin your tiles. I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest, safest, least expensive, and most effective way to whiten your Gravitrax. And we're not going to bother with expensive hair developer creams or liquids containing high concentrations of hydrogen peroxide. We're going to use the 3% hydrogen peroxide solution you can find in the first aid section of your local pharmacy. It's really inexpensive. The best deal I found was at Walmart, only $1 for a one quart bottle. The first method I tried was the heat method. Online sources said you need to place the plastic in the full strength 3% hydrogen peroxide solution, then heat the plastic to between 165 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So I filled an Instapot half full with water, poured the hydrogen peroxide into a Ziploc bag, added some Gravitrax tiles, and set the Instapot to sous vide mode so I could control the temperature and heating time. I found the temperature of the water was lower than the actual set point, so I had to increase the set point to about 190 degrees to get the water to reach 165 degrees. I tried a lot of combinations of temperature and time. If the temperature was too low, the tiles remained yellow. If the temperature was turned up to where the tiles started to whiten, the tiles would deform from the heat. So the heat method was just not working with Gravitrax tiles. So next I tried the sun method. This involves placing the plastic in a clear container or Ziploc bag with full strength 3% hydrogen peroxide solution and then placing it in sunlight. This is counterintuitive because the sun yellowed the tile in the first place. But there's an article online that explains the chemistry of how this works. Essentially, the sun's UV light is providing the energy both for the original oxidation that yellows ABS plastics and the energy for hydroxide groups from hydrogen peroxide to rewhiten the plastic. I found the sun method works very well. Even on a cloudy day, the tiles turned white within three hours. On a fully sunny day, I saw amazing results in just one hour, and the yellow tile faces don't even need to be facing the sun. They will whiten even when upside down. The tiles don't need to be immersed in the hydrogen peroxide solution. As long as the tiles and solution are together in a clear container, the tiles will whiten merely from exposure to the hydroxide vapor that is produced as the sun interacts with the hydrogen peroxide solution. Afterwards, just remove the tiles from the container and rinse them off with water. The great thing about this method is the hydrogen peroxide solution can be used over and over again. I rewhitened batch after batch using the same solution until I had this entire container of Gravitrax tiles white again. Those of you familiar with my channel know I'm a homeschooled dad who likes to explore the connections between things. And that means I include God in my Marble Run videos because God gave us all of our faculties and he created the laws of physics. So even when we're doing something fun, like building with Gravitrax, it's appropriate to be mindful that we're doing so using our powers of observation, intellect, and proprioception, which we have received from God. 
we did not make ourselves, nor did we just happen to enjoy marble runs because of natural selection and random mutations. We bear these creative qualities because we were formed by the ultimate creator, the source of all living things. Rewhitening these tiles reminded me of what Jesus does in our lives. He takes the stain of sin in our hearts and makes them clean. Not just 90% clean, but fully clean. Other religions are all based on systems where you try to clean your own heart and somehow hope your efforts are good enough to impress your maker or reach a certain level of moral maturity. But you can never be sure that your efforts are good enough. Contrast that with Christianity, which doesn't even describe itself as a religion. It describes itself as a family. The apostles John and Paul both wrote that those who trust in Jesus to make them clean from sin actually become children of God. We get adopted into God's family as his children. And Jesus is not only our Lord, he is our brother, the firstborn of God's family. It's amazing to think that even though we have all missed the mark, if we trust in Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, which was made on our behalf, our ugly yellowed hearts can be made as white as snow. Not by trying to be good enough, but by being adopted into God's family. It's a great reminder of God's promise to all who choose to depend on Jesus. So, as you're rewhitening your Gravitrax tiles, take a moment to think about the rewhitening of the heart.